Hello and welcome to the parent engagement session on the integrated curriculum here at WSO. The integrated curriculum is our new approach to education for the modern world. We have an understanding that students need to develop into complete individuals and not see life as a series of categories. Therefore, we've taken the subjects across the curriculum and sought to combine them together in the best way possible. In order to do this, we have removed the idea of topics and replaced them with half-termly concepts. What this means is we think about the world around us, things we actively engage with on a day-to-day -day level, and what will benefit our future. As mentioned before, we choose our concepts based on things that we actively engage with out in the open world. These are things whereby if we learn about them at a young age, we can build ourselves into people with a much deeper understanding of our lives. This will give students more opportunity to become whatever they wish to be when they are older and when they leave academic education. Let's break it down by looking at some of the year four concepts that we've studied so far. Sustainability. The physical changes to the world primarily caused by how we have altered our surroundings is a huge topic of discussion and it will be in society for as long as we can see. Humans are now pushing each other to change the way that we negatively impacted our environment in order to save animals, nature and even ourselves. A firm understanding of this concept is required to save our planet. Identity. Understanding who we are is something very difficult, even for us as adults and is something that many may never truly grasp, which is okay. That is why this concept was chosen, but in a more creative method. Looking at our own identity allows us to get to grips with what makes a person a person in general. This can then be applied to creative formats such as writing and film. These are again, features of the modern world. Civilization. We cannot truly appreciate what we have until we understand where it came from. We have lived through several different ancient civilizations which have all shaped our modern world and which will continue to in some way. If students can see our history as humans, they can develop their knowledge of the positives and negatives that were embodied by these times. They will learn how to shape their future as well as the direction that humanity as a whole will move in. Now, let's take a look at how we as teachers plan and structure our lessons. When we are planning, we have to take into account the flow that the lessons take as we have much greater scope of learning objectives that we can input. We look at the combination of different subjects that we can use and we try and think the best way possible to combine these together. So focusing on our uh, year four concept of civilization, I'm going to go through a couple of different lessons that we used. We began with an initial activity of studying timelines, how to read them and create them. This lesson finished with a statement that our new concept was civilizations. This achieves social studies objectives of construction of timelines and recording information in chronological order. The second lesson involved researching different ancient civilizations and the students were given one of a list of different ancient civilizations to study. They recorded notes on them from different sources. This relates to our English reading objective of retrieving information, whilst also meeting the social studies objective of examining historical documents and the information literacy objective of gathering information from different sources. As you can see over two lessons, we have explored three objectives from different subject areas of the curriculum. The next lesson involved condensing our research into posters to teach others about the civilizations we studied. This solidified the previously mentioned objectives from English reading and social studies and information literacy, whilst also introducing the history objective of explaining main historical events and gradually implemented some of our English writing objectives surrounding non-fiction texts. 
After this, we focused in on one particular ancient world, the Romans. This focus is required in order to allow teachers to concentrate objectives into one clear path and to give the students something to completely base this concept on and to compare to their own world or life. Studying the Romans allowed the children to see where many modern creations came from, like air conditioning, underfloor heating, roads, drainage, water power, and so on. We went on to look at architecture, integrating art and geography, comparing ancient city structure to modern cities like Dubai, ancient leaders, primarily Julius Caesar, and understanding the impact that they had on the world, pulling reading, writing, social studies, history and art together there. You should have seen our paper mache busts of Caesar, they were brilliant. As we progressed further, we managed to cover 43 objectives across 11 subject areas, from English all the way to art. And this was all under the roof of one concept, civilizations. The children's learning was tailored to suit a common understanding of this key word, with each objective tied into it, making them more achievable, more accessible, and as well as more relevant. Sh subjects were combined together within each lesson, thus integrating the curriculum. Now, it's all well and good hearing it from a teacher's perspective, but let's get the views of some of our students. In general, it's been considered that it's easier, we can learn more, it's a surprise what we actually learn, and the concepts have been fun. Let's hear some recordings of some of the kids talking about integrated curriculum. I love ICE because we get to explore our education in lots of different ways. Recently, we have been learning about how does the world change? We look to inventors such as Alexander Bell and Thomas Alva Edison, but the impact they have made has changed the entire world. So it can be an amazing place to be. We explored Thomas Alva Edison's invention of the light bulb. We created graphs in mathematics exploring how many different inventions these great inventors have created and even made our own instruction text for our own inventions. I adore IC. Now we learn about innovation, and that's all about how things used to be before in the past, and now how it is truly changed into the future. I also really like integrated curriculum since it teaches us a lot about the future and how it would be in the past, and in English it also kind of helps us for the future, because it helps us on writing and um, learning how to write big paragraphs. In this school, there's a subject called IC, which also means, uh, which you can also call integrated curriculum. IC is a mix of science, English, and geography, and it has a lot of fun in it. What I like about IC is that some of its lessons are really fun, and you have a big question, so the work always relates to that question. And whenever you're doing uh, IC, uh, you could. You could talk, or you can always ask questions about the subject, and uh, and also include a bit of fun into it. So, Alia, uh, uh, do you prefer integrated curriculum or learning individual subjects? Integrated curriculum. Okay. Uh, why do you prefer integrated curriculum? It makes it easier to remember stuff. Makes it easier to remember things. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, what's been your favourite concept that you've learned this year? When we learnt about the civilizations. Civilizations. Do you remember uh, which civilization you focused on? The Indus Valley. The Indus Valley. And then that was the one that you focused on. What was the one that the whole class did? The Roman civilization. The Romans. Excellent. Well, why did you enjoy that? It made me think of the past and how uh, we've gone now. Nice, excellent. Thank you, Alia, for taking the time to talk with me. In closing, hopefully this has opened up the definition of the integrated curriculum here at WSA, showing you the type of thing your children are learning and how they are learning it. It's an exciting program and will, without a doubt, bring to light a better future for them all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this parent engagement video.